rectal cancer is a uh, is a cancer of the rectum or the lowest most part of the um, GI tract, and more and more we're actually seeing younger patients getting rectal cancer, and we don't really understand uh, why this is. But this is one of the reasons why we often urge patients that are having symptoms to get evaluated. When patients are diagnosed with rectal cancer, one of their biggest fears is that they are going to end up with a permanent colostomy bag. And that's because nationally, that is the operation that is being performed for the majority of patients with rectal cancer. At a center like ours, um, we do everything to try and avoid that for patients. And so through minimally invasive operations, through transanal surgery um, and robotic surgery, we're able to remove the part of the rectum that's involved and then reconnect so that patients can continue to have uh, normal bowel movements postoperatively um, in essentially 95% of, of patients with uh, rectal cancer. So the treatment for rectal cancer is multidisciplinary. Uh, usually patients um, are diagnosed through a colonoscopy and a biopsy. But the next stages involve uh, getting an MRI to really get the local staging and to understand how deeply the cancer has gone through the rectal wall. And then also getting some studies to look and assure that the cancer has not spread to other organs like the liver and the lungs. In patients with local, locally advanced uh, disease or rectal cancer, where the cancer has gone through the, the wall um, and potentially involved some of the lymph nodes, um, the treatment is multidisciplinary. So that means often patients are offered chemoradiation first, and then they come back after they've undergone that type of treatment, and then they have their operation to remove the part of the rectum that's involved and reconnect uh, to, the, to the anus. Patients that have um, early stage cancers, uh, stage one uh, cancers, um, and some stage two cancers, we can actually do the operation up front without having to resort to any kind of preoperative uh, chemoradiation and, uh, and uh, preoperative therapy. Often patients ask about a colostomy bag. Really, this operation where patients are, are, uh, are left with a permanent colostomy is reserved for people that have either really poor anal function before surgery or when the cancer has really deeply invaded and grown into the anal sphincter muscles where the, where the sphincters cannot be um, salvaged. When we do the surgery for rectal cancer, we typically do it uh, through a TATME approach. Uh, that means the operation is done uh, through the anus uh, where the rectum is removed transanally along with some assistance uh, through a couple small keyhole abdominal incisions. Patients can often expect to recover um, pretty quickly after these operations because of our approach uh, with minimally invasive surgery. They have few small incisions. They expect to eat right away. Um, they're up and walking right away. Pain is minimized through some of the uh, techniques that we use in order to minimize post-operative pain. And that way patients can really get back to their lives and, uh, and uh, start re their recovery process.